Welcome to Cypress Creek Adventures. Hey there. Welcome to this week's episode. And we'll continue to work on our knife project and get them shined up and and we'll pick out some wood for a handle and, and shape it and each one will have a, a different style handle because of the difference in the, the two knives. Okay, let's get right to it. Okay, so we got these shined up and we used the horrible sander with some 60 grit paper on it. And these still need a little bit more attention and we're going to take a uh, file and, and just clean these edges up where the on these tangs where the square those up before we put a handle on. So I've picked out a piece of raw red oak that I had that was uh, well seasoned. Uh, had it kind of laid back to make a handle for something else but I didn't use it. Um, this is a very straight grain. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, we're almost in the center of the tree right here. And what we want to do is, is we want to cut this right through here, and then we'll have we'll have very straight wood uh, for our handle, so it won't have a chance of uh, splitting off or or you know breaking. So we'll get a saw out here and smooth this up and and get the pieces uh, some blanks cut out for our handles. Okay, so right here I got the table saw set up, and we're going to take and run a first pass through this edge. It seems to be the the straightest out of, out of the four sides. So we'll run that through there and square that up, and then we'll we'll do the the, the two top sides, and then uh, then we'll take a look at it and see what we have for for blanks. Okay, so got done with the table saw, and it's not really made for taking pieces of firewood and cutting this out. So I took my time, and I'm used to my. Uh, I've had that same table saw for about 16 years now, and it's you know pretty familiar with using it and stuff. But just had to be careful, and well, we got some pretty decent pieces here to to get our handles out of. So. We're taking uh, we've got a nice straight grain. This one here has a knot. We won't be able to use what we can use from here back. So I'm going to take a look at these and draw them out a little okay. bit. So now I've got these cut out. And I squared them up a little bit more on the table saw and, and trimmed them off. And used to starting to use some hand tools now and and try to do a little bit better work and uh, do some hand work here. So the top one here, I want to put some little hand grips in here because this knife we'd be cutting into some really hard uh, work, you know, cutting uh, big pieces of meat or, or you know, just doing trimming and stuff. This one here was our slicer knife. And we want a long handle on here because, uh, you know, we want to make long strokes, so we want this handle to fill our whole hand. And so we'll take the take the jigsaw here and, and work on work on this piece 
and then when I get that done then we're going to use this uh, what's called a spoke shave this spoke shave was used by Cartwrights that were uh, that made wagon wheels and such to uh, trim the spokes in the in the wagon wheels but it's very useful still these days because what we'll do we'll take this and we'll round all our edges up with this and smooth it down and we can take long strokes and um, instead of trying to do it with a knife or whatever and then we'll get the blanks cut out and uh, and then we can sand them a little bit and then we'll work on uh, how we're going to mount them okay I've got this down to a shape after I use the jigsaw and I'm going to start with a spoke shave and and shape this up a little bit so we'll do this a little bit live so you can see how uh, the spoke shave works so this spoke shave ha has adjustments right here for this blade and it's this got this very shallow right now because we don't want to take uh, too much off plus this wood is real hard so you have these handles and you hold it just like this and it, it's basically a plane uh, a type of plane and uh, it works very well so what you do you take and hold it like this and you drag this across here like this and it and it's the same as a, a plane except for it's made for different purpose this works very well you take time you take nice long strokes and this is pretty hard wood and it, it just uh it just peels it right off Okay, so back out here this morning and we'll work, finish up our knife project. And so here's our blades. And as you can see, I've got the tops of those tangs squared off with a file. So now we're going to use a wood rasp, a round wood rasp, and a flat one. It's basically a file for wood. And so I took the spoke shave and I got this down. Uh, for the slicer, but I want to uh, I think I need to make it just a little bit smaller. This is still pretty big So and then I made up these uh, These are just plastic, but they, they'll look very nice and I've taken and sandwiched a, a piece of black in between white and we'll use that here on the on the end of the tang and between the handle and the blade and that'll get trimmed up so now we're going to take our wood rasp and want to work this over on this here and get these all cleaned up and and softened up and then we'll round this over some and and get this handle down and then we'll go back and work on the slicer okay so we're going to take this this little rasp here and work down in between i, I took some cardboard and put in between here to to uh, protect the wood so it doesn't leave the teeth marks on the on all our work so now we're just taking take this rasp and just work in between here and get this all cleaned up and get a little shape to it each finger finger hold I want it to be soft to the hand when we uh, have it on the knife so it's nice and comfortable and then we get done this and we'll sand this some um, and we'll take the the flat rasp as well and and round the edges up and clean this up some got the rough size here so clean this up a little bit more right here this is looking pretty good all right so now we're gonna flip this over and we're going to try to keep it high in the vise here and still use the cardboard to, to help hold it. And this is this top piece here. I'm going to take just a little bit more off this. I'm going to take, take some strokes like this. We don't really use a spoke shave on this part here. We just want, want to soften this so when it's in your hand it feels nicely. That seems to look pretty nice. I, 
liking how this is coming together. By the time I sand this, and we'll put a little little stain on it. Okay. Okay. So I finished working this up, and this will be our handle for the for the bigger blade. And so it'll be it'll go on here like this. And uh, the, the, this is not. If we had a real nice sanding set up and a shop and everything, this is more utilitarian. Uh, it's a little crude, but uh, it'll serve the purpose. It fits very nice to the hand, and so you'd have full control of the, and you have a, a place here for your thumb, and and it. Uh, I think it's going to work pretty fine. So we're now we'll go ahead and finish up the the one for the slicer, and then we'll, we'll be back. Okay, the last few minutes here, I've been working this down a little bit more. Uh, I want it to uh, be a little smaller. We're just about there. I'll finish this up on this end here. And then we can take the, the orbital sander and, and shape it up a little bit and get, get the size. Uh, this rounded up a little bit. So there's where we are. So a lot smaller. It feels better to the hand now. I want this just to be a little bit elliptical right here so that this is taller here and narrower here. So we'll take the sander and when you have, have it in your hand it feels thinner that way and you have more control. This is a longer handle but we want to be able to, to use it as a slicer. So if you were slicing something like this you'd want you know, to be able to hold the, the knife down uh, you know more on a horizontal uh, You know when you're using it we'll go ahead and round this up a little bit and and uh, clean this up Okay, so now you can see that we've completed these handles now I'll hit them with uh, some real fine sandpaper by hand before I put a stain on them. So we got this down to where this fits very nice is nice and soft and of course for this one we, we looked at earlier so now we have both our our handles and we'll get ready to uh, put a hole in the ends here and mount the uh, blades to them. Okay, this is our slicer and I've got the handle board out and we've got it set up here and in the vise and uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Now we've got these white and black bands in here and they'll be trimmed down so that they're the same size as the as the handle and we'll epoxy all this together and it takes a while to, to uh, do that and wait for the epoxy to get hard uh, so we'll get both knives like that and then we'll be back and trim it up and put a little stain on our handles and shine it up a little bit more I've already got them pretty sharp and so when we get ready to do the completion we'll be back okay so you can see now we got the handles on and we got our uh, uh, polished up and sanded and we're ready to put a little stain on these handles so we'll do that next and then we'll be just about done this project all right we get ready to put a little stain on here so we'll do this live and you can see this this red oak really looks pretty when it's got a nice stain on it Here's our other one. These aren't perfect, but they they turned out pretty good. Good utility knives. Are... All right, so we ended up hitting a knot on this one, but I'll fill that and. We'll put some polyurethane on these eventually. So there we go. We have our two handles and nice and stained. So we'll let this dry. And we'll put some polyurethane on them later. And so that.
pretty much completes our project. Well, I think the knives turned out pretty, pretty nicely and I was very pleased and it's just something fun to do and still have something that I can use when I need it. Uh, you could do the same thing if you have a little shop area and just take some time and you have to be careful. But uh, the last two episodes, I hope that, that you've you know, learned a little something about how to use things with a minimum amount of, of uh, tools. So thanks for watching and like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. God bless.